I wrote The Matrix and The Terminator, and when you read The Matrix 4 book, it gets even deeper and greater than what I'm speaking on. I'm only just giving a taste of, you know, what I've written, but it's phenomenal work. And believe me, all of Hollywood has read The Matrix 4 book. It's been out for seven years since 2010. Warner Brothers offered me $30 million for the script. You think I'm joking? No. Ask them, call them and ask. There's no lie. Because you know what they're going to make whoever gets Matrix 4? $6 billion, $3 billion in free ticket sales immediately because there's 3 to 4 billion fans around the entire world globally. Another one to three billion dollars in 3D because 3D was not even around in 1999 and 2003, 14 years ago. So 3D where the matrix jump off the screen at you, quantum physics. Go ahead, you were going to ask the yes, question? Ma so to my perspective, the reason that the matrix was relatable is because I see that a lot of things they put in front of us are not important and they put those things in front of us so that we won't pay attention to what's really going on. But it's, to, to it's your the understanding, truth. It's a distraction. You, you were saying that it's actually like mathematical and hieroglyphic type thing, like literally down to the, the science and math of them uh, putting an illusion in front of us. So how deep does that get? And if we were all polymathematicians and we could really see what's going on with our Well, this eyes. is the reason why they don't teach you math in school. Mm -hmm. They don't teach you math because you create with math. The universal language is mathematics, not words. Words are nothing but symbolism. A A is nothing but a one. An F is nothing but a five, including musical notes. Musical notes are nothing but numbers and words, numbers, vibrations, energy to create with. So if you understand math, you understand everything I'm saying. You break the codes, you break the encryptions, and you extract the knowledge. But if you don't know math, you will never be a creator. This is why all architects, all inventors, engineers, they create with math. And when they teach you words, words are nothing but spells. That's why you got your butt whipped when you couldn't do your spelling. <laughs> They call spells cast spells. I'm telling you the truth. You never saw it this way because you're consciously been taught to see it another way. But when you came out of the woman's womb, the mother's womb, and to this earth, you had the knowledge of God. You were super smart. But when you went to school, that's where they installed the programs. You learned the witches and the warlocks, anagrams and spells and programs. And you've been indoctrinated in spells all along. Every time you see a billboard, every time you watch the media and read a magazine, newspapers, television, you were indoctrinated with spells and programs. And this is why Morpheus told you the matrix is all around you. You're in an invisible prison that you can't taste or smell or see. That was my question. If we were actually polymathematicians, we knew that stuff, what would we see? Like, what, what would the... You would be able to see? create the most phenomenal stuff if you send your kids to school and let them learn math. They would be able to create the most phenomenal stuff. The Bible has the laws of God in it. They're invisible laws. The, the legal book that lawyers study has a penal code of God in it. There's three books that your kids should know to learn from. That's the math book, the Bible, and the law books. They would be phenomenal if they learned from those three books. Because the other books that they're talking about other stuff is just creating illusions and programs and distractions for you guys. But if you want to create, then study math. Because like I told you, the architects build the buildings from a blueprint conceived from math. The engineer builds a car 
from math. The carpenter builds all kinds of things from mathematics. Any questions? 